Yo, people. So uh, I just want to make this little video uh, because I had a smoke of weed last night. I mean, literally, I had rolled a spliff and had half of the spliff. Now, um, I used to smoke weed all the time, uh, but I gave up um, during my awakening period because it wasn't really benefiting me at that period. And I knew I needed to stop because I had an addiction to it. Because no doubt that weed is a um, useful plant as all plant medicine is. But once you, you have an addiction to it and use it every day, like the effects of it um, are, are less, obviously. So, you know, you have to sort of pick and choose when you use this uh, plant medicine, including weed. So um, a, a few weeks ago, a guy gave me some weed. The universe gave me some weed because I was sort of needing some. Um, and I've had a sort of smoke here and there, and I had, I've had a few moments with it. But uh, last night, um, I, interestingly as well, the 26th of May was last night. For those that uh, know that relevance, have watched my videos. But I had a, had half a spliff and then um, was was like, whoa, man, I'm tripping out. So I've had this before where I've just had one smoke and because I've done ayahuasca, I go back to that place. So and I've done it before, a similar sort of thing uh, during the lockdown period. I had a smoke and then I went out to that place, into the astral plane, uh, and I started to see stuff. Now, first of all, when I was there, I stepped into my heart space and I felt that place again where there's no emotion, there just is. Um, and it totally feels like when we, when I, when I go to that place, it totally feels like home, like in the astral plane, in, in the universe, in the stars, in the sky, that feels like home. Like this doesn't feel like home to me. And I imagine there's a lot of people that feel like that because we're really connecting to our true selves. So that's what brings me to what I, I saw. I, I saw myself and I saw uh, as, as us on this planet, as we are like what the Egyptians um, painted in the old days, like this photo here. This is who we are. We are like these people. Now, I, I, what I saw myself was this time, I've seen myself like as a Pharaoh before. But this time I saw myself like as a combination between this picture of the pharaoh and the gr and we're like made of like the grid from Tron. And another time on uh, mushrooms, I actually saw the earth as a grid like this. And the way that Tron, uh, they would have these suits that were lit up. If you imagine, we, we sort of look like that, like the grid from Tron and like these ancient pictures of the pharaohs in the stars that's who we are that is our true selves that is who we are and in on this planet we're experiencing this planet as humans in these flesh bodies this isn't who we are we are these big cosmic beings that are coming down to earth for for whatever reason and what else I saw is that what we are doing on the planet here at this moment in time isn't just happening in, on Earth. This is a major change in the universe. And what humans are part of with this revolution, with this step in evolution, is a massive effect for the universe. And like the universe and the, the, the other cosmic beings are, are grateful for what we are doing. And... We are like heroes because what we are doing is something so big and so hard and such a challenging thing that it's going to really affect in a positive way the rest of the universe. So is, is this who we are? Are we the fallen star gods and we've forgotten who we are and we must remember who we are to take back the control of this earthly plane whilst we are here before we go back? To where we're from and how do we get to this place through the heart hope you enjoy this video peace